Well, it was a little easier than I thought it would be getting to work today, but like we just saw with Elizabeth, I think it might be getting a little shisty out there for travel. <laughs> yeah, as we get into the evening hours, the heavier snow bands will continue to move up into southern North Dakota. So patience is the key with this system with getting some of those higher totals, still a little bit less than the original forecast, but travel alert now in place throughout the entire I-94 corridor all the way over to Fargo, recently expanded, and this is because of that blowing snow, reduced visibility like you see out on I-94 in Dickinson as well as the falling snow that is heavy at times. I-94 in Sterling view there, and then North Dakota 21 in Flasher with some icy and snow-covered roads. Temperatures in the 20s and some teens out there as well, but less than a mile visibility in the capital city, as well as down towards uh, Beulah and Raleigh. Uh, one and a half mile visibility in Minot and Stanley, but the snow not reaching up towards the Turtle Mountains over towards the northwest. Less than a mile visibility in Williston, Watford City, Sydney, Montana, Glendive, and significant reductions to visibility in southwestern North Dakota as these heavy bands of snow continue to push up from South Dakota into our area. There's some heavy uh, pockets near Elgin, Flasher, New Salem, Hebron, Beulah, over towards Washburn. You can see this batch of snow here with some heavier snowfall rates moving from northwest South Dakota into southwest and south central North Dakota. Now we do have a winter weather advisory for Williston, Minot, down to Bismarck, Mandan, and over to Jamestown. Winter storm warning trimmed back a little bit down to the far southern counties as well as into uh, southwestern North Dakota. Blizzard warning in place for parts of South Dakota. Winds right now be sustained between 15 and 20 miles per hour with gusts over 25 to 30 miles per hour at times. We could still see those winds continue to ramp up in southeastern North Dakota later this evening and into tomorrow. Tomorrow, but the snow will become more scattered once you get past about 8 o'clock. So I think the heaviest periods of snow across southern North Dakota will become uh, present over the next several hours before this system continues to push off to the east and we see that snow uh, reduce in aerial coverage into tomorrow morning. So not much more falling snow into your Monday morning commute, but there will be some gusty winds and blowing snow in south central and eastern North Dakota as that system continues to churn up into Minnesota. Snow continuing to fall just around and east of Fargo with the strongest winds there. We'll see increasing sunshine as we go through our Monday with those winds backing off from west to east. Additional snow, we could see one to three, maybe some pockets of four inches in south central and southwest North Dakota. Higher totals with that system them cutting up to the east of us in uh, Jamestown and over towards Fargo especially but the blowing snow I am still concerned about even into the overnight hours and Monday with winds remaining between 30 and 40 miles per hour for James River Valley into the Red River Valley even throughout our day on Monday. So if you have travel plans towards eastern North Dakota, keep that in mind. Even Bismarck gusts over 30 miles per hour possible through the day on Monday, and those winds will be slow to back off in eastern North Dakota even into early Tuesday morning. So overnight temperatures, single digits and teens, only improving into the 20s for tomorrow with calmer conditions and those temperatures below normal as we go through the week with more sunshine by Tuesday and Wednesday, but a slow recovery in those temperatures, get back, getting back to around 40 degrees by Easter weekend, and I don't foresee any major storm, just some light snow chances here and there. All right, that's some good news. Yes. All right, thanks, Jacob.